What is one piece of advice, and it's okay if it's two, that you would give someone when they come to you and say it's like either, whether it's how did you get through it? What is the number one thing that changed your outlook? Um, something that is a word of encouragement for somebody that is met with this diagnosis. It's so easy to read about a story about someone's chemo not working or their plants are coming back in year three and be like, look, oh my God, I'm in year three. That's me. That's going to happen to me. It's like, no, cancer is so complex that no two cancers are the same, even if we do the same exact treatment as the next person. I know that this is shocking news. I know that is not part of your life plan. If you're not feeling happy and hopeful, that's okay. <laughs> Let yourself feel that fear, anxiety, you know, move your body, write it out, scream into a pillow, find the therapist. Um, that part like is really important too, to honor those emotions. And then you can kind of climb out of that. It's just that I don't want to live in that space, but I, I welcome you know, those emotions, it's so natural and normal part of the journey as well. The first thing I always start with advice to offer someone who's just been diagnosed is that kind of like what you said, it's it's an entire chapter in my book that I called mindset is your greatest form of medicine there is and how you react and how you respond and your belief in your body's ability and belief in yourself to just go through whatever this is going to be like. And it's going to have a direct result in how your body reacts and responds to everything that you do moving forward, whether you choose to eat well, whether you choose to continue to exercise, how your body responds to the treatment. Everything is connected. And so mindset is the greatest form of medicine there is in addition to everything else you're doing. And you have to empower yourself with a healthy mindset.